question and conclusion. And for my project background, same also. Nanoparticles are defined as material with size range okay. of 1. Okay, move in. Okay. So my problem statement is that uh, currently the usage of nanomaterial in industry has increased. So that's why, for example, in medicines, manufacturing environments, so most of the manufacturing units that process nanoparticles face a threat from fire and explosions. However, very few know about this threat, about how the fire and explosion happen when involved the nanomaterial. That's why I want to develop a dispersion model so that the risk assessment of the nanoparticle can be can be done and can be implemented. So next, uh, project objective to develop a dispersion model for nanoparticle using CSD simulation software and to study the differences in dispersion behavior of microparticles and nanoparticles. So the scope of study for this uh, project, I'm using aluminium nanopowder because aluminium is common uh, common material that used in industry and it also one of the material that can cause explosions. And the project used the ANSYS fluid to model the dispersion of in uh, with and Euler language approach. Which what means by Euler language approach is that Euler uh, Euler approach is that we set a boundary and we monitor the movement of material inside the boundary. So why the language is that we monitor the movement of specific material, specific particles. So we combine the the approach. Next, uh, this is the literature review. Uh, here, uh, factors affected the dispersal behavior that uh, had been studied by Inco. There are the three. For the first one, is particle size. And this factor also had been supported by the other author, such as uh, Lee et al. with their, uh, their title of uh, Project Explosion Characteristic of Nano Aluminium Powder and Mixer in 2 liter spherical vessel. And we found that reactivity of aluminum powder was significantly higher for finer scale, which means in nano scale, compared to the larger one, which is in micro scale. Next is a weakness at all with their research or project risk assessment of ignitability and explosivity of aluminum nano powder. And they found that concerning the explosion severity characterized by the maximum explosion pressure and maximum rate of explosion pressure. It tends to increase as the particle size decreases or the specific surface area increases. And last one is the default at all with the project ignition and explosion of nanopowder, something new under the dark. And they found that the explosion severity tends to increase as the particle size decreases or the specific surface area increases. So what we can conclude from this uh, literature review or this uh, study? The smaller the particle, the dark ignitability increases as well as its explosivity. So the second one is the concentration of particle. And this also has been supported by uh, the other author, such as uh, Bollet, and on with uh, their project, explosivity of microns and nanosized titanium powder. And they found that optimal dust cloud concentration will produce maximum overpressure and rate of pressurized are lower than micron size. The next one is NEC, minimum explosible concentration. It's generally independent for particle diameter because um, uh, based on the research, for one for one hundred for this the optimal dust for one hundred fifty nanometer of titanium, then it required about about five hundred gram per meter cube and while the micro titanium required 1500 gram per meter cube so that the concentration for micro micro particle is higher compared to the uh, compared to the nano particle while for MEC why it says that it independent for particle diameter because based on the experiment the the size of titanium of 150 nanomaterial 
required 40 to 50 gram per meter cube, while uh, micro particles needs almost the same, about 50 gram per meter cube. So that's why the MEC is independent for particle diameter. And for the next one is the Lee et al. Uh, with their title, with their project explosion characterized characteristic of nano aluminium powder and mixture in two liter spherical vessel. So they found that nano aluminium powder make nano aluminium powder's maximum explosion rate of pressurized was about two to six point five times higher than micro aluminium. So what it, we can conclude that minimum explosibility concentration is independent of particle size and the smaller the size of particle, the lower the concentration and the higher maximum explosion pressure. So next one is the acceleration rate and this has been studied by Bollet in the project emissions and explosion means of nanopowder and they found that the material tends to agglomerate to each other when they when dispersed into the air. So when the material is agglomerate, so the material, the total surface area increase, and this lead to the minimum or decrease the minimum initial energy, so that the risk of so that it resulted in higher risk of permeability and explosion because the minimum initial energy has been decreases. So the chances or the risk to catch into the fire, to catch into the community is higher. So this is a methodology. So the first one, we need to create a geometry. And if you can see here, this is my geometry in a sphere shape because in the experiment they used to they use 20 liter spherical vessel. So that's why I need to create a geometry in a sphere shape. And next is the name station and meshing. Meshing is the step where we divide the geometry into the smaller part. And this step is very important because we need to make sure that our meshing is in high quality. If not, it will affect our our result. Our result, the, the result obtained will not accurate. So next is the CFD analysis and solution methods. So for this one, uh, we need for this step we need to specify what model we want to use. So for my project, I use two two model which which are viscous model and discrete phase model. For viscous model, we choose the K epsilon model because this model is the commonly used and it is popular because the it is a good converge good convergence rate and low memory requirement. While the discrete phase model, it uh, it tracks the motion of individual particles because we want to monitor the movement of particles. That's why we use this model. And lastly, we compute the solution. So this is one the the machine. The next is the results and discussion. Okay, this is a result uh, from the bullet, the time sequence of compute mass of turbulent kinetic energy, and for this. Uh, bullet experiment, uh, they uh, they use uh, transition mode. Transition mode means that we can monitor the, move, the, the movement of material of, or the particle over time. So that's why we can see there is time here, 20 milliseconds, 7 milliseconds, and 6 for us. So for, for my part, I use uh, steady, steady mode. So that's why we cannot, that, that's why there's no time here. Because we cannot uh, monitor the, the movement of particle over time, um, uh, we can see we can only obtain the end end result of the dispersion in the steady mode. Because supposedly I have to do in the differential mode, but however there are some difficulties, and after I discuss with my SB, so we change to the steady mode. So this is one for the micro micro particles and this one is the for nano particles. The pattern is quite same but the difference is the turbulent kinetic energy. So for the nano particle the turbulent kinetic energy is higher compared to the micro particles. And uh, I forgot to, to mention that the input that I got the input for the simulation mostly I got from the literature review from the experimental uh, that has been done by this one, this study, the Dinesto and others, others also. So
So for the discussion, based on the study by the Jisali, the the judge limited the the it found that the dust con dust dispersion will become less uniform when the particles size is uh, bigger. So that's why uh, the Even can take energy for micro particle is uh, is lower compared to nanoparticle. It means that dust dispersion for nanoparticles is more uniform. So when it more uniform, the agglomerate rate is higher. So that's why when the agglomerate rate is higher, the explosion will occur. The the possibility for explosion to occur is also faster. Next, uh, so the conclusions. The dispersion model for nanoparticles have been developed using the dissemination, so that uh, with this model, it can assess. We can do the risk assessment for nanoparticle explosions, so that the objective are achieved. The, the objective that I mentioned in earlier. So for the recommendation, conduct the simulation of dust dispersion, dust dispersion for different concentration of particles, because uh, it might because the When the particle is uh, is heavier, they might affect the dispersion of the material, and the flow of the material. And next is to study the dust dispersion with various discharge flow in transient mode. So, if we conduct this uh, this 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 study, we can know at what point the 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 dispersion or the the explosion can occur. Because we we use the transient mode, because uh, because we use the transient mode, so we can monitor the particles and at what time the explosion can occur. So this uh, references that I use. So this one. So that's all. What is your your result? Result. Now discussion I doesn't come doesn't you know doesn't catch my attention. What 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 is the significance there of your uh, simulation that you show just now? You just show the figures. Just like that. So you did for this is for what? Micro particle. Micro particle. Okay. The next one is your nano particle. So what does how does that? Because the difference between the this one, the stable kinetic energy. That is a minus sign. Minus sign means small. Yes, it's small, but it's small, which means that nanoparticle is smaller, isn't it? Formulation is based on what then? Oh no, uh, 
that's already uh, already already the the model. So we need to uh, uh, choose the correct model. Because in uh, that's why I, I choose the the I mentioned that we choose the viscous model and the liquid phase model.